Have you ever wondered about the risk you take when using chemicals on your property? I'm James Donnelly from the Adelaide and Mount Lofty Ranges Natural Resources Management Board. Today I'd like to discuss some of the issues involved with using and handling agricultural chemicals. This is a term given to a wide range of chemicals such as herbicide for weed control, insecticide for insect control and so on. Before an agricultural chemical can be sold in Australia, it must be approved by the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority. And when used in accordance with the label, it will not result in harm to the user or the environment. The cut and swab method will pose a different level of risk to the user compared to hand spraying or boom spraying. And here we have some footage of a contractor displaying the hand spraying method. The level of risk will reflect the required level of personal protection. The level of personal protective equipment will depend on the method of control you choose. It is also important to think about the level of risk you might be happy to accept. Generally speaking, low volume, low pressure applications present a lower level of risk to the user. And if you are not comfortable handling agricultural chemicals, seek further training or use a licensed contractor. To get value for money, and good results, it is really important to choose the right chemical. Firstly, read the label to determine if it is appropriate for what you want to do. It is important to choose the safest chemical available that will also be the most effective. And obtain an MSDS, Material Safety Data Sheet, for first aid information. Make sure you have the right equipment to complete the job safely and effectively. When taking chemicals home, Make sure the container is done up tight and there is no leaking. If possible, the chemicals should be stored separately from the occupants of the vehicle. It is important to lock up chemicals securely and keep them away from children and animals. And always keep them in their original labelled container. Don't ever use food or drink containers to store or mix chemicals. Chemical poisoning can occur through the skin, the eyes, by inhalation or ingestion. It is important to cover the most sensitive parts of the body, like the groin, the head and the hands with protective equipment, such as chemical gloves, protective glasses, respirator, face shield and overalls. If chemical comes into contact with the skin, wash with soap and water. If chemical gets in your eyes, Wash with running water for 15 minutes. Wash your spraying garments separately at the end of the day's work. And always have clean water on hand as a safety precaution. For further advice, call the Poisons Information Line and seek medical attention. Handling concentrated chemicals requires an increased level of protection, especially when mixing the concentrated chemical into a solution. Use the appropriate personal protective equipment that will provide you with the maximum protection. When spraying, follow the recommended label rates and only make up what you will use in the time you have. Clean up spills with kitty litter or sawdust. Empty clean chemical containers can be disposed of during drum muster collection programs hosted by participating councils. For more information, visit the Drum Muster website www.drummuster.com.au For disposal of unused chemical concentrates, Zero Waste offers a collection program. For more information, visit www.zerowaste.sa.gov.au NRM board offices regularly use licensed and experienced contractors whose contact details are available from your local NRM board.